everyone, this is Matthew V21688, ready to continue my uh, 33rd episode of my second season of Card Sharks Big Johns for the PC. I'm currently the returning champion with $16,400. Joining me are Aubrey S1987 TV Studios and Parizzle for Rizzle, A Pizzle 90. And Pizzle is going to be my opponent. We're available. In high definition, we're available. Yep. Pizzle's going to be my opponent. We both know how to play, so let's go. First question goes to me, this is a trivia question. How many days on average does a newborn baby robin know how to fly out of its nest? Oh boy, I would have to, well, groom, you gotta groom the birds. The mother has to groom the birds, so I think it's gonna be about, I'll say 10. I say that 10, on 10 days on average does a newborn baby robin know how to fly out of its nest? Uh, Alex, do you think that is higher or lower than 10 days? I believe that it is just a little bit higher. A little bit higher. The actual average number of days that it takes for baby Robinson to know how to fly out of its nest is 13. It is higher. Boy, Alex certainly came to play. Alex, your base card is a 6. Higher. Ooh, taking it. Ooh, you're going to play the 6? Let's do it. Okay. You can change it since you won the car. You won the question. That's fine. Okay, so you're gonna you're still gonna play the six then? Yes. Higher. Okay. Higher than a six? A seven. Freeze. Freezing on seven, not giving me a chance at the cards, but Alex, the next question goes to you. <laughs> Alex, this is another trivia question. What percentage of US women have become pregnant by the age of twenty? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say 25. I'm taking Viagra while writing this question. Alex says 25% of U.S. women have become pregnant by the age of 20. Do I think that's higher or lower? Oh, my gosh. That has to be much lower. The absolute percentage of U.S. women who became pregnant by the age of 20 is 20. It is lower. That's still a lot. My card is a queen. I'll go lower. Lower than a queen. A six. Uh, let's try higher. Higher than a six. A queen. Lower. Lower than a queen. An eight. Seven plus one. All three. Next question goes to me. We asked 100 people. If a magic genie appeared and granted you one wish, would you wish for money? How many of these people said they would wish for money if a magic genie appeared and granted them one wish? Oh my gosh, uh, shoot, if that were me, I'd be caught between whatever I, I'd be caught between a lot of things, but, well, I'd have to say that has to be, uh, kind of a borderline number. I'm going to say 40, 41 of them. 41 of 100 people said they would wish for money if a magic genie appeared and granted them one wish. Alex, higher or lower than 41? Oh, higher. One higher. The actual number of these people who would wish for money if a magic genie appeared to grant them one wish is 40. It is lower. I missed it by one. I'll change it. Changing my eight. See if we make a good change. The eight is now a six. Oh, I'll say higher. For the first game, higher. Oh, no. A five. Ooh. Alex, a break for you, but you have to play your seven. Um, let's see. You have to play your seven, Alex? Higher. Higher. Higher than a seven. Oh, no. A four. Oh, this is the fourth whoa. and final question. Someone must win on this play of the cards. And, and Alex, that question goes to you. And the game is thinking of a number between zero and a hundred. Fifty. Alex says that the number between zero and a hundred is fifty. Do I think that's higher or lower? Um... Shoot, put me in a bit of a bind here. I'll say higher. The actual number between 0 and 100 that the game is thinking of is... 87. It is higher. Okay, now I have... I need one card for the first game. Alex has a base card of a 7. He's all, he needs 3. Uh, and I have a base card of a 6. I will pass. Alex, you have to play your 7. Higher. 
Higher than a seven? A king. Lower. Lower than a king. An eight. Seven plus one. Freeze. Oh, no, you can't freeze. This is the last play of the cards. Oh, okay. Uh, lower. For the first game, lower. Yes, a seven. She's a Corey has now joined us. So Alex takes the first game. Dealing out the cards for round two. First question goes to me. We asked 100 men with high IQs. Which would you rather have on a desert island? A beautiful women, beautiful women, or a daily newspaper? How many of them said they would rather have beautiful women? Oh my. Oh my. Oh boy. Uh, well, I know that girls go for a lot of smarts and uh. And some girls go for smart, so I think that's kind of a high one. I have to say uh, 77 of them. 77 of 100 men with high IQ say they would like to have a beautiful women, to have beautiful women on a desert island than a daily newspaper. Alex, higher or lower than 77? That seems a little high. I think it might be just a tad bit lower. Going lower. The actual number of these men with high IQ say they would rather have a beautiful woman and women on desert island is... 94! It is higher, not lower. <laughs> My base card is a queen. I'll say lower. Lower than a queen? A five. Higher. Higher than a five. A king. Lower. Lower than a king? A four. Higher. First for the second game? Yes, the queen! This is the third round. Only three cards to be dealt out. First question goes to Alex. Hmm. Alex, we asked 100 women. Did your mother tell you that sex is wrong? How many of these women said their mother did tell them that sex is wrong? What the writers took Viagra? Oh, boy. Um, 12. Twelve of a hundred women said their mother told them that sex is wrong. Uh, do I think that's... Oh my gosh. I think it's a little bit lower. The actual number of these women who told, whose mother told them that sex is wrong is... Twenty-six. It is higher. It's higher, not lower. Alex, your base card is a jack. Lower. Lower than a jack? A six. For the championship higher, yes, an eight. Seven plus one, Alex is the new champion. So Alex is going to play the money card, and I'm leading with $16,400. As you just briefly saw, that Corey has joined us. And Alex, you know how the money cards work. You start you at the bottom row with $200 of betting money. You bet your way across three cards. Moving to the second row, give you another $400 of betting money where you bet your way across another three cards. $50 of minimum bet to get to the top card. The big bet where you must risk at least half the money. And if you double, double all the way, that is $32,000. And we certainly hope you can do that. And for, but for right now, Alex, good luck to you. Here's $200. You ready? Yes. Okay. Now, Alex, you have the option to change the base card one time per line, and the same card comes up. It's a push, meaning you do not win, and you don't lose. For $200, Alex, you start off with a 9. Would you like to play that 9 or change it? Yes. I will play it, and I will go $100 lower. Ooh, on a pretty borderline card, $100. Lower than a 9? No. Oh, no, a jack. You're down to 100 Okay, it's a jack. Yes, it's a jack. All the lower. Trying $100. Lower than a jack? It's another jack. A push. No win, no loss. You still keep your $100. Right, uh, lower again. How much? Lower. Yeah, how lower. much? All of it? Okay. Trying it again. $100. Lower than a jack? It's a 10. You have $200. Move it to the second row. Give it down to $400. You have $600 and a 10. You can change it if you wish to. Uh, I'm going to go $50 lower. Minimum bet, 
Lower than a 10? Oh no, it's a queen. $550. But you have a good card of a queen. That's up. Okay, all of it lower. Trying it. $550. Lower than a queen. It's a five. Eleven hundred dollars and a five, Pizzle. All of it higher. Eleven hundred dollars. Higher than a five. It's a six. Alex, you're at the big bet. You have a base card of a six. You have two thousand two hundred dollars. You must bet at least eleven hundred. Change it change it with number one. Alright, let's see if we can make a good change here. The six is now a four. All of it higher. Come on, for four thousand four hundred dollars, is this higher? Yes, the seven! Alec, you have a one game winning total of $4,600. But you are not done yet. You have one chance at winning a jackpot, which is worth $60,000. One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. Number four. Okay, going around the middle. Is the dollar sign behind four? It is nine. Six. It was the one. Six. So our jackpot will be worth 70000 next time. And Alex will take on a new opponent when we come back to resume my season. See you all. See you all soon.